Hello and hui hui middag. This is Famer Gaina. Hi Mike. Uh, let's switch this over. And pause the music. And how is everyone today? Alright, we're gonna do a little bit of Hungarian, because that was the vote last week. And uh so Norway's become called last co below minus ten. Oh no! You've got a real winter. You have a real winter. Hey Rachel, how's it going? Alright, let's try some Hungarian people. That sounds too cold. <laughs> Nate, you used to love the cold. What happened? I got old. <laughs> you got old. <laughs> you got old and your bones got thin? Mm -hmm. I'm my on stream chat. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting. If I minimize it, it doesn't show up. How's that? Is that working? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's stupid. When I minimize that window, it goes away. It just freezes. I'm, I'm so weird. You're good. Thanks, you. I'm good. Um, so let's do some Hungarian and some Japanese. You have to get bold. Eight. Bold is for cowards. It takes a brave man to admit his fear. Alrighty, righty. Ordinal numbers in Hungarian. Oh, this might be fun. Or it might be easy. Wait, let's see. Ordinal numbers, like first, second, etc. are formed on the basis of the number and... Okay, and these endings. <laughs> the choice of the suffixes depend, depends on vowel harmony. Yeah, I figured that one out already! Lots of vowel harmony. These vowels are very, very unhappy if they're not harmonized. Get that? Everyone, get that? <laughs> it's the same in Korean, actually. <clears throat> when the number has a long vowel, okay, like these. I don't remember how to pronounce this. Uh, my god. At some point, I will be doing Hungarian more often. Who's? Whose, which will make it easier. The vowel shortened. The vowel shortened. Without scold. Okay, Mike, you're just making meaning meaningless puns today. <laughs> this becomes to stick tenth. In, in. What's this one? Harum. Harum. That just basically almost sounds like harum. 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 The long vowel shortens and the other one disappears, so we get harm. Harmed. Third. And finally, like in English, second is not based on the number two. We don't use. <laughs> okay, this means second. Mashodik. <clears throat> Mashodik. Mashodik. Mash means different, but also another. No, it just takes an Iceman or maybe a Trollman. Trollman. Why are you guys making me read this stuff? <laughs> hey, Dirk. Ez a második török étterem a városban. Why is she loud? What is the translator plugin? Sorry. Oh, this one? It's just a Google Chrome extension for Google Translate. Hola. Uh, hello. Who hacked it with you from that? Throw man at you. Oh. Oh, you just did Dutch and Norwegian together. <laughs> My brain's broken now already, Nate. <laughs> It's only seven minutes in, okay? My brain's broken now. <laughs> Traumatity. Oh, sorry, Dirk. Please ignore these two. They don't stop sometimes until they get tired and fall asleep. <laughs> Anyways, I was asking you, how are you today in Dutch? That's a pretty terrifying thought. <laughs> 
I studied animals in Spanish the other day. I know, my kids, okay, yeah. My brain is broken too. I just mixed together Dutch and German numbers. Um, that's because most of them are kind of the like anyways. <laughs> Dutch and German. <laughs> as long as you don't mix together Dutch and Russian numbers or something. <clears throat> What's the sentence mean? Ez a második török étterem a városban. She's loud. Why is she loud? Is she loud for the rest of you guys? Because she's loud for me. Oh. Okay, I'm going to try that. Let's see if that works. <laughs> a little loud. That's a sniff. Nicht good. Okay. Let's see. Ez a második török étterem a városban. She still sounds loud to me. Let me know as loud as before. I don't know. Let me know if she's still loud. It's just for some reason my Linux machine wants to. You know, I'm doing this totally wrong. I can do this. I can just reduce it on here. Let's do that. I love this extension. Let's do seventy percent. Ez a második török étterem a városban. Fifty percent. Ez a második török étterem a városban. Dungman. Huh? This second Turkish restaurant. Uh, uh, <laughs> I forget Hungarian word order, okay? Um, this, <laughs> what the hell? This, right, second Turkish restaurant. This, Is in the city. Is this the sentence doesn't even make English make sense in English? I'm sorry. <laughs> Hungarian is like someone glued the syllables of Finnish together. You know, it's loosely related to Finnish. They're supposedly in the same language family. Except that I came across somebody on Duolingo who who want, is busy trying to prove that Hungarian is not related to Finnish. It sounds pretty similar, but Hungarian is not as choppy. You think Finnish is choppy? Echt and Vansen. Uh, Vansen, what is that again? Oh, um, What's Vansen? Is it? Wait, I do Google Chrome Translate extension is actually so... It is quite helpful. Yes, I like it. Indeed. It is so nice if you're being lazy and just need a word quickly, yes. Otherwise, if I really, really need to look up something for like Dutch, I use Fondala, Puntanel. Fondala, Puntanel. You can use that for Dutch. And it also tells you whether or not a word is da or het. <laughs> There's also a Spanish dictionary for people who want to do Spanish and uh, La Russe for French. This second Turkish restaurant is in the city. Does this sentence even make sen sense to anyone? This is the second Turkish restaurant. <laughs> okay, I'm failing Hungarian already. <laughs> I'm sad. No, okay, okay, okay. No problem. <laughs> Mike, did you change the color of your name all of a sudden? Why? I did Dutch. Well, I'm doing Dutch the whole time. <laughs> I only have an hour and a half, guys. You know, I'm still kind of like trying to uh, save up bandwidth <laughs> for the end of the month. <laughs> I'll think about it. The fourth worker. 
It doesn't work. Uh, the fourth worker isn't working. He's feeling dizzy. I have no idea how to s translate that into Dutch, actually. Okay, so the fourth worker is not working. I can probably translate that to... Fierde? What would, you, what would you say for worker, Nate, in Dutch? <laughs> I know it's not workman. Or is it? This is bad because it's a word I see all the time and I've forgotten. I mean, I'm like, there's a difference between a worker and an employee, contextually. We'll just run with workman. Worked? Neat. <laughs> Um, hi is, uh, I think I learned dizzy, is that. Actually, the springy workman. Oh, I spelled Ferde <laughs> Sorry. To Ferde workman. Worked neat. Hi is, does, did I type that? Does look? Yeah, there we go. I can reject and refund the redemption. Yes, I'll think about it. It depends how much time we have. We have like four lessons of Hungarian. Or maybe I'll just do two. Or one. Maybe I'll just do one lesson of Hungarian today. As a food scene. I've just been trying to save up bandwidth, which is really why I haven't been doing a lot of the language apps lately. And I can play. I can sit there and play a game on PlayStation Three for quite a while and not use up any of my internet bandwidth. This is the ground. This is the ground floor. I got that right. Is the oh, uh, ground floor? Oh, geez, we learned that in Dutch too. As a third scene. Uh, this is the Bahana. Is it Bahana? <coughs> the beeping. I think it is. Yeah! Is that right? I can't remember, Nate. Mm -hmm. We saw it all the time when. I'm also quite distracted. So. No, that's the. That's not right. That's not right. Sorry. I think that's it's a just good We saw this a lot when we were looking for it's places to. Front. Is it behind the front? Mm -hmm. But is it? Are you sure. Okay. Yeah. Behind the front. Well, I got this one right. Erdgesos? Is that Norwegian? Erdg? Or is that German? Erd? Erd? That's German? Oh, good lord. Ez az első magyar repülőgép. Ez az első earth floor. Yeah, I know, basically. Hi, Bionic. Hola. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wouldn't bother if it was easy. Do you happen to speak Hungarian? Yes, why not? Actually, I believe Bionic does speak Hungarian. <laughs> but I think believe you also speak Italian, right? Um, let me say that again. Par, 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 I can't remember. Non parlo italiano. <laughs> I don't speak Italian. <laughs> this first Hungarian. This, this is the first. Uh, this is the first Hungarian plane. Oh, but I think this is a pretty language, actually. <clears throat> Uh, 
And how are you today, Bionic? Uh, Como esta? I remember some Italian, not a lot. <laughs> Ez az első magyar repülőgép. Ez az első magyar repül... Ez az első magyar repülőgép. Repülgé? Ah? Ez az első magyar repülőgép. Ez az első... Ez az első magyar repülőgép. Magyar repülőgé. Ez az első magyar repülőgép. Okay, this is the first Hungarian airplane. Let's see, let's try to translate that into Dutch. Dit is the first Hungarse. <laughs> I know I learned airplane. Don't tell me anyone. <laughs> remember any touch right now. I already typed it mm -hmm. on stream. <laughs> That's the Dutch. I the yeah, I know. This is the erste Hungarse Fliegtuig. That's how you say it. this is the first Hungarian plane in Dutch. This is the first Hungarse Fliegtuig. Ez az első magyar repülőgép. Uh, why don't you like Hungarian? Why do I don't understand why people don't like their own language. <laughs> I think this is a nice language. Ez az első magyar repülőgép. Ez az első, első. Ez a földszint. Ez a, a, ez, did I hear it right? Ez a földszint. Okay, maybe it's too quiet now for the audio practice. Gotta love English. <coughs> British, Canadian, or American? <laughs> it's just not useful. Okay, yeah. Well, you, there is that. There is definitely useful languages. That doesn't mean they're particularly fun. Yes, but if your car ever breaks down in Hungary. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this is what I tell her. This is what I convince Nate about. It's like, he's like, why are you learning so many languages? And I'm like, well, if we go somewhere and, and people are just speaking Hungarian and I need to figure out <laughs> how to get help. <laughs> British. Yeah, British. <laughs> Who's too lenient? Me or Bionic? You're too lenient. You gotta hate some languages as well. I don't hate any languages. I just find some less... I don't know. Less... They're not less interesting, really. More like... Not as fun to speak. True. A bunch have... A bunch of Dutch people try. A bunch of Dutch people have tried to convince me that I shouldn't learn their language. A lot are supportive, though. I think for the most part, uh, the Dutch people I've met so far, they're mostly just befuddled as to why we're trying to learn Dutch, <coughs> and they don't seem to. They don't seem to think that um, as an immigrant to the Netherlands, we need to learn Dutch. <laughs> it's like they don't think about it too hard. <clears throat> Everybody speaks English and German in Hungary. <clears throat> I just hope. Yeah, yeah. I think I've heard that with some of the, like, I've heard from like Serbian speakers, and they say like, oh, you know, they're learning German because that's kind of like they grew up with this whole notion that everyone should learn German as well as English for some reason. And I'm like, why? <laughs> If you have English, why do you need German? <laughs> I just hope everyone knows English, or I have what, or I have. What phones? What, Rachel? If she breaks down. <laughs> huh? She's, She's saying if she breaks down, she hopes that everyone speaks English or she has a phone. Mm. I think we're kind of lucky with that, Rachel. <laughs> you. No, you. Italian is pretty useful. Italians don't speak a word in any foreign language. I find Italian is quite a pretty language, actually. Ez a földszint. Ez a földszint. A food. How do they spell this again? How do you spell this? Food. Food. Sint. See, the S Z is that s. Sint. This is the ground floor. Romance languages are known for that. <coughs> translate, tra tra translate. <laughs> Hi, Gaby, Hungarian today. Yes, 
Ez a második török étterem a városban. Because somebody voted last time, last week for Hungarian. I don't know who it was. And the vote, the, the vote got messed up anyways. <coughs> for some reason. <laughs> I do need to spend more time on Hungarian. It will be easier if I do. Is uh, this is? Oh, I got this wrong earlier, right? Isn't this the? This is the. Oh, I got this wrong. This is the second Turkish restaurant in the city. I think I got this wrong last time, and I don't remember what the correct answer is. This. <laughs> This restaurant? Wait, wait, wait. This restaurant is the second turkey. No, no. That, that doesn't make sense either. Hold on. This second Turkish restaurant in the city. <coughs> it's the second Turkish. <laughs> I think last time I did this second Turkish restaurant is in the city, but was, I don't think that was right. Yeah, this is the second Turkish restaurant in yeah in the city. I'm just gonna tap this. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the wrong way. Is it really hard? Oh, Gavy, mostly because I can't remember the grammar. I need to spend lots more time on it. Hi, Amy. How's it going? How's it going, everyone? Well, the sentence does not make any sense. Why would a rest not be second? <laughs> um, well, no, as opposed to being the first Turkish restaurant in the city, like say a, re say a city didn't have any Turkish restaurants and then somebody opens one, that would be the first one. And then the next one that opens would be the second Turkish restaurant. <laughs> because the first restaurant was faster. Yeah, exactly. They opened first. <laughs> Unless you're part of a certain restaurant chain. Are there just two in total in the whole city and people are observing closely? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Don't worry, I don't know the grammar either. Hányadik az a piros autó? And also the vocabulary is like, I am, it's hard to remember vocabulary for this because I don't, <clears throat> I don't think there's a lot of loan words from Hungarian into English or Spanish <laughs> or French or Dutch that I can, that I can uh, relate the words to. <clears throat> Well, I would say this is the best as first or second as a part of a chain, actually, but it still doesn't make sense. I would compare it to looking at international chains. Now, generally, as an, as an English speaker, as somebody speaks English as first language, that sentence would just mean that the second Turkish restaurant is the second one that opened. <coughs> That's the first McDonald's that came. This is the second one. Yeah. What's this sentence? Hányadik az a piros autó? Which? <laughs> oh, uh, <clears throat> okay. This means which? R which red car? Wait, which which red car is that? That's the only thing I can think of. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna get a lot wrong. Eh? Oh, which number is that red car? Why? 
Be right back. All right, Meg. And there is one word that was adopted from Hungarian coach from the Hungarian word. Oh, oh, that's amusing. <laughs> Next, <clears throat> I gotta finish one Hungarian lesson. <clears throat> The word order is just killing me. A negyedik munkás nem dolgozik, szédül. So this is, this is the fourth worker is, oh yeah, we did this one. The fourth worker isn't working. Do you want to say he's feeling dizzy or he's dizzy? But what's in a row? Ez az első magyar repülőgép. <coughs> This is the first Hungarian plane. <coughs> az első emeleten lakom. Ah, uh, this is the first. I live on the first floor. I live. Okay. I live on the first floor. Ik woon, ik woon op de eerste verdieping. Is Dutch. Op, op de eerste They're deeping. I live on the first floor. <coughs> Which one that makes sense? I live on the first floor. <laughs> Hola, Felisa. I can't remember how to say numbers right now. 2021, yes. In Spanish, 20... How do you say that in Spanish? Hold on, hold on. Dos... Dos mil... Ventiuno. Good tell, Duolingo. Hungarian. <coughs> Hungarian. Look up at the top of the screen. It says Hungarian. <coughs> Or how is how is Duolingo? Oh, Duolingo's fine. It's just Hungarian is hard. <laughs> As a third scene. Uh, this is the ground floor. <coughs> And how do we say this in Dutch again, everyone? Dit is. Dit is the Bahana Krond. Look at, listen to the G's. Bahana Krond. <laughs> This is the ground floor. Hanyadik az a piros auto? E como estás, Blade? <coughs> How are you today? How is, how's the English? Which number? Uh, auto. Is that red? Auto. Car? Which number is that red car? <coughs> I am good, thanks. <coughs> okay, I am definitely only going to be streaming for an hour and a half because, like, I've been having problems with, like, sleeping and feeling too cold. Oh, you gotta go. All right, bye, Anik. Nice to see you here. I can't remember how to say see you later in Italian. I don't remember. In French is a bientôt. Spanish is hasta luego. <laughs> Hungarian. Do you still use Close Master for Dutch? I, yeah, I still have Close Master for Dutch. I just haven't been doing a lot of Dutch lately. A presto. Thank you. A presto. Ciao. <laughs> If Spanish wasn't so popular, I'd do more Italian. Which number is that red car? In Dutch is welke nummer. Welke nummer uh, is that Rodo Alto? Did we even say that? <coughs> oh, Hungarian? How do I say that again? Sashtok? Siastok. 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 That's so pretty. I actually like that. See us stop. Ez a földszint. 
as <laughs> Ciao <a> tutti <laughs> Full Synced <clears throat> Next Ez a második török étterem a városban uh, This is the <laughs> Second Turkish restaurant in <clears throat> A harmadik holland repülőgép bent van. Oh yes, everyone. Ciao tutti means uh, basically bye everyone. <coughs> In case you don't know Italian. The third Dutch. Wait, Holland? <laughs> they gotta change that. <laughs> no, you can't call it Holland. <laughs> Third Dutch airplane is inside. I guess we're counting we're counting planes by which nationality they're from. <clears throat> so you say this one's the first one, and the second one, and this is the third one is inside. Not outside. One and two are outside. The third one's inside, everyone. Okay? <laughs> A magyar sportoló oh, a harmadik, a német like pedig az ötödik. I didn't translate the third. De derde <laughs> Netherlands flieg ta Hi. Is binne? Oh, I don't know. Stop binne? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nate, how do you say the third Dutch airplane is inside? <clears throat> how do you say it's inside? It's a spinner, right? I think so. Yeah. No. How do you say it's inside then? <clears throat> stat? I was thinking stat because an airplane stands. I don't know how to translate that properly into Dutch, by the way. I'm thinking about it. Okay, fine. Let's see what. Uh, I guess Benner, I don't know. I'm not sure. <clears throat> and then I just use go to translate and see what they give me. Uh, switch? Switch? What? Oh. Dutch. They, they, they're giving me is been a. <coughs> Can't always trust Google Translate. I don't think it's right. The Hungarian athlete is. The, I'm asking the Dutch person. The Hungarian athlete is the third. The German and. <coughs> And the German, oh my God, the the Hungarian athlete is third, right? <coughs> okay, fine. The Hungarian athlete is the third, and the German is the fifth, and the. German is the fifth. Oh my god, make it complicated. <clears throat> the Hungarse athlete is the derde and the Dance is the Five. <clears throat> there we go. That's the Dutch for that sentence. This is the ground floor. Uh, is this one? Hányadik emeleten lakik az egy? Hányadik emeleten lakik az egyiptomi bíró? Which or which number? 
on the floor. Bitch. <laughs> Which floor? Uh, uh, which floor does the Egyptian judge live on? On which floor? Okay, whatever. <laughs> which floor does the Egyptian judge live on? <laughs> okay, op, op. In Dutch, you say op. You can say op, velka. For deeping, this is good practice for me. For deeping, oh, Philka for deeping. I know it takes longer for me to get through my Duolingo lesson, but oh, Philka for deeping. Um, won't the oh, how do we say Egyptian in Dutch, Nate? Ah, <laughs> uh, I feel like it's, but I could be wrong. I gotta look that one up. I haven't actually really learned that one. Egyptis. Egyptener? No, we're talking about person. <laughs> I think it's this one. Egyptener. Uh, okay, I gotta type that whole thing. Oh, loka. The deep thing. Won't do a hip a hip the nar rector rector I think is judge. <coughs> there we go. This is the Dutch. Of welke verdieping won't the Egyptenaar rector? Um, in my grammar book, there was a whole list of the uh, proper adjectives we would do for nationalities. Um, so I had to look that up. There is a, I haven't remembered that list yet. There is little furniture in the first colorful house. <coughs> they didn't give me this sentence earlier. Why are they being mean, Nate? Mm -hmm. I could be doing this all day, because... Uh, they didn't give me the sentence earlier, what the hell? It's between these two, I think. Oh my god, as a susa I'm gonna try this one. <clears throat> no, it was this one. Okay, screw it, I'm just gonna continue. Is the second street narrow too? They did not give me these sentences earlier, so I'm making blind guesses. Why are they so mean? <clears throat> that was a complete guess. The Hungarian athlete is the third, and the German <clears throat> is the fifth. Oh, I don't remember. <clears throat> On which floor does the Egyptian judge live on this is one I think <clears throat> this is the second Turkish restaurant in the city the third Dutch airplane is inside <clears throat> There is no furniture on the fourth and fifth floors either. Oh, I don't know with this one. The eleven Brazilian boys are fourth. Hey, did they give me these sentences earlier? Now I have to do multiple choice with it. <laughs> it's got to be this Brazil boys. 
<clears throat> there is little furniture in the first colorful house. Ah, there is little furniture in the first colorful house. Oh, it was this one. I, I took that one last time as well. Oh, the rest was just multiple choice. No, ty no typing. Jeez. <clears throat> okay, we did one lesson of Hungarian. I would love to do more, but I do have a specific list of languages that I'm trying to get through. So, <clears throat> let's do a little vote. Actually, I'm going to do the vote later because we're going to do a slightly different vote today. Oh, wait, Mikey wanted to do some Dutch. <clears throat> if I don't do it at the end, by the end of the stream, I'll refund your... Uh, channel points. Alright, that was some Hungarian. And let's do this. And I'm gonna switch this over. I'm gonna do some Japanese. A little bit Japanese because I didn't finish this Japanese skill last time. So let me just change the title here. <clears throat> yeah, Nihongo. Let's learn Japanese, everyone. Hype for Japanese. And yes, for the record, I find uh, Hungarian grammar harder than Japanese. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I guess the word order. The word order is technically the same for Hungarian and Japanese. Subject, object, verb. <clears throat> Nihongo go. Let's go. Nihongo. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's switch that to Japanese. Mm. Put that back there. Here's my Japanese. Make sure this is. Yay, Nihongo! <laughs> hey, me. Yeah, so we're gonna do some more Japanese. And after this, I'm gonna do the two lessons of. Do I have time to do two lessons of Japanese? i do at least one lesson of Japanese, I think. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see how fast I get through these lessons, this lesson. So I started this last time, last week. And I need to do the next two lessons. Yes, Nihongo. I do find Hungarian a lot harder than Japanese. And it's probably because um, I, with Japanese, I can get away with reading kanji because I do know some of the Chinese characters. And it, not that it will help me with speaking Japanese. <laughs> but I also find the grammar for Japanese a lot easier than Hungarian. Um, I think it's because Hungarian still has a bit of like, well, Hungarian has declensions where you like have to decline nouns. And so that makes it a lot more harder, a lot harder, I think. And, and the word order for Hungarian, I think is similar to Japanese, but it still messes me up sometimes because I can't remember which way the adjectives go. <laughs> and there's some weird word order stuff that happens when you have like multiple clauses. But anyways, did I switch my thing yet? I didn't switch it. Back to that. <laughs> okay, Japanese. We are on uh, this lesson, Frequency. Be right back. All right, Rachel. I'll see, I'll see if I can fit in the Dutch at the end. <clears throat> okay, what's this? Watashi wa amari hare a shinbun no... How do I say this one again? Yomi. Yomi. Yomi, yomi masen. I rarely read newspapers. Watashi wa amari shinbun wo yomi masen. Watashi wa amari shinbun no uh, yomi masen. Okay, and so this is nice because you have all the tips here. The tips for this uh, skill is right here. So you can see the explanation about amari. <clears throat> And you have to use the past tense on the verb. Oh, sorry, not past tense. The negative form of the verb. Okay. So, take note that amari 
Hitondo and Zenzen can be used in negative sentences only. Okay, next. わたしはあまり新聞を読みません。わたしはあまりデパートへ行きません。わたしはあまりデパートへ行きません。わたしはあまりデパートへ行きません。わたしはあまりデパートへ行きません。わたしはあまりデパートへ行きません。わたしはあ
Nomu. Yeah. And this is swimming. Suiei. What? Suiei. Wait, Nate, how do you say swimming in Mandarin again? Shui. Shui Shui. It's different in Tai Chinese. Like, the way my family would say swimming, it would be slightly different. It's closer to Cantonese. <coughs> Mama, for swimming, my mom would say you sports. Sui. But this is obviously sports. It sounds natural compared to the only one I feel. Yeah, that's why I like to. That's why I like Lingo Dare. The the audio sounds more natural, and I'm wondering if they actually hired people to record stuff. No, 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 too long, too long, too fast. Yeah, daughter. Musume. Musume wa. Musume wa. Yes, yo yo. Huh? Yo Yong. Oh, it's completely off with the Mandarin. Hotondo. <laughs> Hotondo. I can't remember all this. Musume. Musume wa hotondo. Sports wo shi? Masen? Musume wa hotondo sports wo shimasen. Sports wo. Sports wo. That's what she says. Musume wa hotondo sports wo shimasen. Sports wo shimasen. I actually really like Japanese. I, I don't think I'd ever really need to use it at any point unless I go visit Japan. <laughs> um, uh, she rarely, Amari, Florenzko studies, studies, Florence, oh, wait, 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 what am I missing? Oh, I'm missing this. Florenzko and Joshi Masen. We need the negative. I find with with Lingo Dare, I remember the grammar better than I do with with Duolingo. So, um, there are other sites that I, like, and I think Mango Languages generally teaches. I feel like Mango Languages also teaches grammar a little better. And you have that cool way of showing you which which way the word order goes to. Sports. Sports. Next. Mr. O barely eats Japanese food. Oh, you know, I, I I had enough of translating into Dutch, by the way. I think I can only translate one lesson of Duolingo into Dutch <laughs> before my brain goes, okay, enough, cool down. Uh, oh, sama, barely. What was barely? It was this one, right? Tondo. Nihon, I can't remember how to say this one. And this is Tabemasen. Osan wa hotondo, Nihon yori o tabemasen. Yori. Did I hear her right? Yori. 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 Yeah. Osan wa hotondo, Nihon yori o tabemasen. Nihon yori tabemas. Yori o. Yori o. Sorry. Okay, that, that, that one's a little tricky. It's that R thing. I'll get it eventually. Ryo is a hard, it is a hard sound to make. I will get it eventually, but in this case, it's not the first R that's bugging me. It's the second one. Rory. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you, Empress? How are you going? How are you doing today? How is the rest of your holidays? <clears throat> my daughter barely works out. My daughter, my daughter, yeah, barely. So it's between this one and this one. Yeah, it's gotta be this one. Sports or schmessen. Yes, most most of the time, uh, most of the time, English speakers will say Rio. Rio, which is wrong, which is a completely different sil different syllable construction in Japanese. But Rio. Tanaka san wa zenzen soto de bango han o tabemasen. Uh, Tanaka san wa zenzen. No, 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 What did she say? Soto. Soto. Tanaka san wa zenzen soko de. Uh, I remember. I can't remember. Bangohan. Bangohan. 
Bangahan Tabimasen. Tanaka-san wa zen-zen soto de bangahan no tabimasen. Yeah, it would definitely be a completely different word. Tanaka-san wa zen-zen soto de bangahan o tabimasen. Continue. Mr. O barely eats Japanese food. Osan wa. Osan wa. Botondo. Botondo. Oh, I'm trying to remember how to say this. Nihon Jori Jori O Tabe Masen Osan wa hotondo Nihon Yori o Tabe Masen Osan wa hotondo Nihon Yori o Tabe Masen That's what I'm hearing Osan wa hotondo Nihon Yori o Tabe Masen Nihon Yori o Tabe Masen Just making sure I'm hearing them correctly I don't like how they're translating these sentences Hmm? Why? This one actually seems accurate. If you read their explanation, that's actually they're fairly accurate. I mean, sometimes they've translated things strangely, but um, Risan, right? Li. Tondo means rarely. Eating out. Yeah, they kind of put it as a more of expression. <coughs> Don't understand Japanese. <laughs> Japanese is fun. It's a lot easier than Hungarian. You guys miss the Hungarian struggling. <laughs> Even though Hungarian and Japanese, I think Hungarian and Japanese have a similar word order. But I think Japanese sticks to a subject, object, verb, word order. I don't think Hungarian sticks to a subject, object, verb, word order. I've seen with Hungarian sentences in the Duolingo course, I've seen them put the verb elsewhere. <laughs> and I don't know why they do. I think, I think with Hungarian, the word order is more loose um, because they decline and conjugate. <laughs> Japanese is fun. Fransugo. Wait, wait, wait. Fransugo. 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 What's this one? Chukoko. Chukoko. Can't remember how to say this. Chukoko. Chukoko. Nihongo. Ego. What's this one? Chugoku go. Chugoku go. Yeah, I knew there was another syllable. Chugoku. Chugoku go. That's. This is uh, Chinese, Japanese, English. Fransugo. Fransugo. And, and how are you today? <laughs> Bonjour. Comment ça va? I know you've been studying. What have you been studying lately? French? Mr. Tanaka never dines out. Tanaka san wa. Oh, wait, what was the one for never? Zenzen? Was it Zenzen? I don't remember. I'll have to listen to this. Zenzen. Sotana day. Why don't I remember how this word? I don't remember how to say this one. And something old type in my son. I don't remember how to say dinner. Um, ban gohan, ban gohan o tabemasen. That's the one. Tanaka san wa zenzen soto de ban gohan o tabemasen. Tanaka san wa zenzen soto de ban gohan o tabemasen. Tanaka san wa zenzen soto de ban gohan o tabemasen. Soto de ban gohan o tabemasen. Okay, yes, I remember it better if I repeat it. <clears throat> Today is fine. I have to clean the storage. During the week and check inventory. Uh, is that for work? <clears throat> or like, or at home? <clears throat> Next one. I realized I missed the soto from the last sentence. <laughs> oh, the outside part? <laughs> yeah, soto dines out. So this is, I mean, literally the Japanese expression is eat dinner. Eat dinner out, so it would be dines out. Now <laughs> it makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, otherwise without Soto, it would be he ever, he never eats dinner. Yes, okay. <laughs> sports. Sports, sports, sports. 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 That should be right. Yeah. 娘はほとんどスポーツをしません。娘は、ほら、娘 
は barely works out today. Hear her right. 娘はほとんどスポーツをしません。ほとんどスポーツをしません。I'm not sure how to translate these sentences into Dutch. <laughs> My daughter barely works. How do you? How would you say barely in Dutch? Name. Seldom. Seldom is not the same as barely. <laughs> Hard.、Um. Hardly, rare.、No. Like, it's, it's like because the way they're doing it in the Japanese here, the frequency is always, often, sometimes, occasionally.、Nowlicks. Not often, rarely, and never. Huh? Nowlicks. Nowlicks? For barely? Rarely? Okay. So in Dutch, you'd say, I'm just going to do this one. Mein Dochter、uh, works out. Oh, sport. Nowlicks. Yes, they use the word sport. Sport、uh, means to sport, to do exercise. <laughs> That's a bad translation. Do- oh, Google! <laughs> We're talking about exercise, and they say sport、uh, is exercise in Dutch. Oh, no, 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 no. Google Translate fighting with me here. <laughs> oh no, they don't teach us a pondo in my university. They didn't teach you that one? That's interesting. Hotondo? <sighs> Sports is an exercise in Japanese, but I think they're simplifying it. No, it seems kind of insane. Not sure what else. I mean, what else would they use for just working out? No, it's most of the time when people talk, like a lot, of, like even here in the Netherlands, when they talk about working out, they just kind of refer to it as like sports or, you know, sporting. <laughs> so, I don't think it's very uncommon. Maybe it's a. Sometimes I find that、um, when you have like learning materials, sometimes they don't teach you the latest colloquial expressions. I feel like Japanese people would say this, like the younger generation, not the older generation. Just like the younger generation of Dutch speakers will say things like, Ik heb h e streamed. I streamed. Like, Ik heb h e Because there's no real Dutch word for to stream. Ah, <laughs>、uh, which one? Oh, wait, it's not giving me the whole thing. Hold on. Interesting. I don't know if Amy's still around. She lived in Japan for like five and a half air- years, so. Undo. Huh? Undo. Und- yeah, actually, you know what? That's like, um, that would actually be borrowed from like Chinese or Korean, because, uh, undong in Korean.、Uh, if I can type this in Korean. Um, let's see. Let me switch to my Korean keyboard. That's, that's, ex- that's pretty much a cognate to the Korean one, too. Where's my Korean keyboard? Un. I think it's dong. Yeah, that would be the equivalent one. It's very similar. You always think of udo as exercise? Ah, cool. <coughs> Either way, though, with this one, sportsu. Sportsu o shimasen, s p o r t s u o s h I would translate that into Dutch as sport. Ik, sport. <laughs> I do sports. English doesn't really say things like that. We don't say, I do, we say, I do sports or I play a sport in English, is probably the more proper way to say it in English. Let's see. Tanaka san never. No, Tanaka san. Mr. Tanaka never dines out. <laughs> Tanaka san wa. Tanaka san wa. Never. Senzen sotte de. Yes, but yeah. I, uh, Amy and、uh, Empress has also been learning Japanese. She learned Japanese in, I don't know, in school, university or something. And Amy has learned Japanese because she was in 
Japan for five and a half years. Uh, and that song was Sensen Soto de. I keep forgetting how to say dinner. Ban gohan. <laughs> I always have to pause before I say say that one. No, what? What's wrong? There's a block here. Help me, language lamb. Ban gohan. Ban gohan. Ban gohan. Thank you. Tanaka san wa sensen soto de ban gohan o tabemasen. Just to warn you, my phone is dying. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, don't let your phone die. If you have to go, it's perfectly fine. I may disappear. Tanaka san wa zenzen soto de ban gohan o tabemasen. Yeah, that's what was going on with my cable internet all year. I was like, I'm going to disappear one day during stream because the guy messed up our cable internet. <laughs> <laughs> I rarely. I should probably go plug it in. <laughs> probably a good idea. I was supposed to go to Japan in March. Now I'm supposed to go to Japan in March. <laughs> Just switch to the next March. Hopefully it works out. I don't know. I mean, uh, man. Nordic Soy is raiding with a party of three. Hi, Nordic. How's it going? How's the Norwegian going? She says raid. Oh, actually, wait. I have this cool thing now. We can do this for the raid. She says. She said you brought dragonlings. You brought dragonlings. Did you bring dragonlings? <laughs> Hello, dumb stuff. How is it going? Getting back on that horse. Oh, thank you, Nate, for the shout out. Took too many days off. Now the streak starts from scratch. Oof. Yeah, I always still do one lesson a day. Okay. Why are you swallowing your cat? I have I have allergies and throat issues. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amy. I don't know if I don't know if you ever played um other video games, but this is you know from Final Fantasy. Very popular Japanese game. Quack? <laughs> yes, quack, quack. <laughs> yes, Chocobo. She's very cute. There is a channel reward for her. <laughs> I rarely read newspapers. Watashi wa amari, amari shinbun o. How do I say read again? Yom, yomi, yomi masen. Oh yes, Nordic also knows a little bit of Japanese as well. I believe he studied some Japanese for some years too.、Um, I don't know if you all know each other. Amy lived in Japan for five and a half years, so she knows quite a bit of Japanese, and Empress knows, knows quite a bit of Japanese as well, learning it in school. Definitely not a ma mallard. You didn't miss much. It was just this one. This is the correct answer. I don't read news. And thank you. I often forget that. I should automate it more, but I don't know. Too lazy. <laughs> so how was everyone's holidays then? Nordic, how's your holidays been? How's your New Year's? Hi, thank you, Shmashta. Yes, you studied it. Are you planning on studying more Japanese again? Refreshing. Namaste. Namaste. Huh? <laughs> Do you know what Namaste actually means? Fransugo. Is it Namaste? It's probably Namaste. I can't remember how it's pronounced. Namaste. Fransugo. Fransugo. Oh, hold on. Fu 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 fu. Fransugo. Fransu go. My my katakana is worse than my hiragana, so Frans. I hope that's right. No clue. I hardly know what walk is. What? <laughs> non sequitur. Sooner or later, I'll sit down and study a bit again. Probably in the weeks leading up to our next trip to Japan, whenever that happens. Ah, I see. That's cool. I see. I have a whole list of languages that I'm trying to get through. So I'm going through. I'm actually trying to go through that list fairly, fairly, and like, quite, 
accurately to the order that I have the languages in. So, but for a while I was learning Korean because I was thinking I might have to go to South Korea for some more Taekwondo, for some Taekwondo instructor training. But since I'm probably not going to go to Korea anytime soon, I'm like, fine, let's learn some Japanese. All right, Amy, see you again. Thanks for popping in. Get out of bed. Oh, yeah. wait, what time is it again for you? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's early for you. Have a good string. I will. Thanks for popping in. Yes, everyone, if you want to check out Amy's stream, she, uh, she does teach Japanese as well. Uh, you can visit her stream if you haven't visit her, visited her stream before. Uh, sounds like some good 2022 plans you got there, Nordic. Exciting. Bye-bye. <laughs> the way things are going, it'll be more like 2077 plans. It's 9 a.m. Yeah, it's 9 a.m. for you. All right. I better finish this. <clears throat> she rarely studies French. Konnichiwa. Rarely. Amari. Amari. Konnichiwa. Oh. Ben. Uh, I can't remember. Ben. Joshi. Messen. Konnichiwa. Amari. France. Go. Ben. Kyo. Shimasen. Ben. Kyo. Shimasen. Sorry. Ben. Kyo. Konnichiwa. Amari. France. Go. Ben. Kyo. Shimasen. All right, that should be right. Yes, 9 a.m. is early. It's dark here right now. It's almost 6 and it's dark already. I can't wait for the spring equinox. I'm going to try this. Watashi wa amari shin bun o. I can't remember the rest. Hold on. I think that's right. Yay! <laughs> Most of the time I've been using the help me thing. I need to head out to groceries need to be purchased and consumed. Have a great time. Thanks for popping in and thank you again for the raid. Have a wonderful day. I hear it's cold in Norway right now. Mike's lurking somewhere. Next. Yay, we did that lesson of Japanese. <laughs> I don't know if I can do the next one in 15 minutes. Maybe I'll leave that for some other time. Minus six, nah. Sounds like a Canadian winter. <laughs> yeah, fine, we're gonna do this. Um, actually, I was going to put a vote up today. Forgot to put the vote up. Let me put this vote up. Uh, let's see. Actually, I don't need to do that. Do I? Let's do that. I'm going to set up this vote because I, before I finish. Uh, poll. So we're doing a slightly different poll this week. Let's do this. Which next Monday? So we will do. <coughs> um, speaking of. <coughs> We will do that. So poll is up. Yeah, the poll is up for ten minutes. Alrighty. <clears throat> and feel free to vote on the poll. You don't have to join chat. <laughs> you can still vote even if you're lurking. And so yes. Whichever one wins will be the next uh, language I will stream next week, next Monday. I will do some more Japanese. Let's try to finish this one. <clears throat> Part time. I vote in the poll. Part time job. What? It's gotta be this one. 
This is tennis, right? Tennis. Tennis. And this is jogging. Jogging, right? Jogging. Jogging. And this one is. is this one. This is one teaching. Jugyo. Jugyo. What? Anyways, this is part time job. Arubaito. Arubaito. I think I learned that before. <clears throat> uh, next day, next day. Lesson. Oh, this is lesson then. Wait, what's this one? What's this one? This is. This is study. Benkyo suru. Benkyo suru. I forgot it ended in suru actually. And this is. Oh, this is travel. Ryoko suru. Ryoko suru. Did I hear her right? Ryoko suru. Ryoko suru. I can tell it means travel by the. um, Actually, the kanji too. <clears throat> Anyways, this is lesson. Jugyo. 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 Did I get that right? Jugyo. Yep. Jugyo. Have you studied German? Uh, me? I've studied a little bit of German. <laughs> Not a lot. I can, I can probably read... Well, with most languages, um, I can probably read it better than I can speak it, but... Might be why you recognize Arubatsu. No, I learned a little bit Japanese before I started learning on Duolingo, like, on Lingo Dare, actually. <clears throat> I did a little bit of Japanese on Memorize, and I also did a little bit of Teach Yourself Japanese. <clears throat> and I think this was one of the wor one of the words they uh, were teaching me in the Memorize course. <clears throat> I need more water. But why, why do they use it in German? <clears throat> Does it mean the same thing in German? Arobat. I don't remember how she said it. Oh, it's derived. oh, it's derived from German. Really? So it means part time. Does it mean part time job in German? <clears throat> oh, now you're right. That is a katakana word. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. It is. It's a weird word in <laughs> German. <clears throat> the one funny um, borrowing that I found, um, quite, it was quite amusing, is in Greek, sayonaris means slippers. And yes, they borrowed it from the Japanese sayonara. <laughs> Don't ask me why it means slippers though in Greek. Watashi wa ishukan. Ishukan. Me. Is she loud? I'm gonna turn this down a little bit, just a tiny bit. She seems loud. Watashi wa ishukan. Ishukan ni. Watashi wa ishukan ni nikai. Tomodachi to tennis wo shimasu. Watashi wa ishukan ni. Ah, uh, man, I don't remember all these words. Tomodachi. Tomodachi. Tomodachi do tenisu. Tenisu wo shimasu. Watashi wa ishukan ni nikai. Tomodachi to tenisu wo shimasu. So you've got I, A per week, per week. Twice <laughs> with friends, tennis, play. <laughs> I play tennis with my friends twice a week. Watashi wa ishukan ni nikai, tomodachi to tennis wo shimasu. Yes, I'm actually wondering if Mike would have recognized the erobato come from erobaito coming from German. Part time job. Here we go again. Arubaito. Huh? Makes sense to me. What, what do you think it means in German, Nate? Arbeid is work in German, I Arbeid? Oh yeah, it does. It It is also used in, in Dutch, that might be why. But that's not why I recognize it's like it. It's labor, right? Eh, uh, I don't know. But yeah, but I definitely, but I, but it's not, I don't remember it because of German, though. I definitely remember it because I studied a little bit Japanese before. 
。アルバイト。アルバイト。一<笑>週間に四日アルバイトをします。一週間に四日に。四日。四日。一週間。一週間に四日。あ、アルバイトをします。一週間に四日アルバイトをします。アルバイトをします。トラブルをしたり。授業。授業。was lesson right。yes next。I play tennis with my friends twice a week。so we've got I eight per week。so we need per week。oh wait 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 wait、uh,。we need the knee <笑>。私は。私は一週間に二回。友達とテニスをします。私は一週間に二回友達とテニスをします。回友達とテニスをします。Okay. Next. <coughs> My elder sister watches movies three times a month. 姉は一ヶ月に三回映画を見ます。ね、見てね again. Uh, uh. 姉は一ヶ月に三回映画を見ます。映画を、あ、uh, what did she say？ 姉は一ヶ月に三回映画を見ます。映画を、姉は一ヶ月に三回映画を見ます。を見ます。を見ます。Okay。I work part time four days a week. Uh, we don't need the watashi wa.、Uh, four days a week. A week. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Is that right? I think that's right. 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 Mr. Tanaka has classes three days a week. Tanaka s a n wa per week.、Uh, three days. Tanaka san wa ishu kan ni mika jugyo ga arimas. Jugyo, jugyo ga arimas. Tanaka san wa ishu kan ni mika jugyo ga arimas. Okay. Nexty, nexty. Okay, everyone vote, vote, vote. <笑> I see where the vote is going. <笑>田中さんは一週間に三日授業があります。Okay, next one. This kind of flower blooms every ten years. この、how do you say?、Uh, flower is 花 I think. この花は Uh, I can't remember. I look at these things and my brain goes to Chinese, so. <clears throat> Every ten years. Okay, I gotta listen to this. この花は十年に一度咲きます。年 yes, it was me. この花は十年に一度咲きます。十年に。この花は十年に一度咲きます。十度咲きます。この花は。十年に一度咲きます。十度咲きます。咲きます。ブーム。complicated。they're giving me really complicated ones and if they're gonna make me type one。my elder sister watches movies three times a month。I don't remember how to say sister <笑>。three times a month。one month。ah。three。three times a month。Yep, and it's Korean. So next week I'll do some Korean on Lingo Dare. Next Monday.、Mm-hmm. Three times. <coughs> 姉は一ヶ月に三回映画を見ます。姉は一ヶ月。姉は一ヶ月に三回映画を見ます。映画を見ます。Okay. So we will. T- I will do some Korean. On Lingo Dare next Monday. Yay, Korean. <clears throat> I'm actually not sure how far I am in the Korean. I, at first, I was a lot further down on the Korean course than I was in the Japanese course, but、um, I might be further down now. 
I hope my chat didn't freeze again. Hmm, I don't think it did. Okay. Okay, here we go. Next one. <clears throat> my family travels every four months. Uh, family. Uh, <clears throat> four months, right? So one time, four months, and this is the word for travel. I can't remember how they say travel. Wait, this is the one for family, right? Yeah, hopefully. Has my chat been freezing? It shouldn't be. You know, it's it's a funny Linux Linux OBS thing. If I minimize if I minimize the chat window. It will freeze on stream. It's weird. It's not. It's not a Twitch thing. It's a Linux OBS thing. <laughs> Just let me know if it freezes, because I might accidentally like minimize the window. Yay! I have a Duolingo form reply with three upvotes. <laughs> Mike, how do you even know these things? I can't even keep track of all the stuff I've ever posted on Duolingo forums. <clears throat> I know I've gotten lingots and upvotes for some of it. <clears throat> You've posted one thing and you're keeping track of that one thing you posted? You know, I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> comes up in following what comes up in what where where has it come up oh in the discussions you only have one post on you only have one post you're following yeah you're following your own post oh my <laughs> god I don't even remember what I followed <laughs> Wait, what? Why did I follow some of these? Where is your mother? <laughs> Here's some Arabic ones. Ixal, Ixal met mein Zeus muten heben hewund. The Dutch here would is like uh, I think this is, means I would have lived with my sister. I replied to someone asking about the pronoun man in man in Norwegian's following. If you made a reply or if you made the post, I assume. <clears throat> Maybe. I don't know. There's a hell of a lot then for me. <laughs> I'm not going to look at that. <laughs> <coughs> You know, Duolingo forum, Duolingo used to have better, like, interactivity with other people, other users on there. I wish they would bring some of it back, but I think part of it is, um, they didn't want to have to put in all the different privacy settings that people wanted for, like, for, like, their, their profile page. If somebody wants to leave them a message and they don't want the person leaving the messages. Lesson. Jugyo. 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 <clears throat> okay, Mike, that's funny. It's cute. <clears throat> this kind of flower blossoms every 10 years. Kuna hana wa 10 years ni uh once. We don't need this, I think. Grammar, grammar exercise. Kono hana wa 10 nen ni ichido sakimasu. 10 nen ni ichido sakimasu. Try to remember these characters. <laughs> Next. Arbato. Ah. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Sorry. No, that's not. Ah. Little. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Little. Baito. Arbato. Arbato. Yeah, you know what? That probably is coming from the German Arbeid. Ar Ar Arbeid. Mike, did you know this? <coughs> Mike, did you know this? It's coming from German. Arbeid. 
probably from Yeah, it's probably coming from the that. <clears throat> but I don't think, I think in Dutch, we don't, I don't know. They sometimes use the word, um, arbeid, meaning labor in Dutch, sometimes. <clears throat> From German. So I wonder why they adopted that word for part time work, huh? <clears throat> I work part time four days a week. <clears throat> アルバイトをします。アルバイトをします。1週間に1週間に4日アルバイトをします。1週間に4日アルバイトをします。Next。この花は10年に一度咲きます。この花は10年に一度咀きます。10年に。いや、blooms like what, once every 10 years it says this kind of flower blooms every 10 years この花は10年に一度咲きます。姉は1ヶ月に3回映画を見ます。1 oh, so long. 姉は姉姉は姉は1ヶ月に3回映画を見ます。1 uh, three times a month. 1ヶ月 3 Oh, I missed something. Ikagetsu ni ni san kai. So, Mike, when are you going to learn Japanese? Ane wa ikkagetsu ni san kai eiga o mimasu. Eiga o mi. I missed something. Hold on. Ane wa ikkagetsu ni san kai eiga o mimasu. I think I don't think I missed anything. I think that's right. Yay! Uh, I think I need help with this one. I think I think I need help with this one. Watashi wa. I know how to do watashi wa. Watashi. Back to Japanese. Watashi wa. Hold on. Watashi wa. Wa. Ta. Shi. わ。私は1週間に2回友達とテニスをします。ああ、なるほど。1週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間。2週間
します。And then します。します。Okay, I think this is right. Hopefully, that's right. Watashi wa na 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 na. Yeah. Watashi wa ishu kan ni nikai tomodachi to tennis o shimas. Don't think that's right. It's the next one. Watashi wa. Watashi wa ishu kan ni nikai. 友達とテニスをします。テニス。I guess that's it. テニスをします。<笑> I think that's right. Yay! When Japanese becomes a worldwide language, it's pretty close. <笑> I would say it's pretty close with all the people that like reading manga and watching anime and playing Japanese video games like Final Fantasy. It's pretty worldwide. <laughs> okay, we are done that skill actually in Japanese. And it's、uh, about time I should go raid somebody. Let's go raid. Let's go pass on the.、Uh, let's, let's go、uh, start. No, continue the raid train. Let's continue this raid train. <clears throat> like, honestly, it's because, honestly, the way I see things are there are hard languages, and there are some languages that I find fairly easy. So. Because the hard languages take a lot longer to learn, I might as well start them now. I'll never get around to them. <laughs> so, yes, Hungarian, <laughs> Arabic, actually. Actually, I'm planning on moving back to、uh, doing some more Arabic since there was an update to the Arabic course in Duolingo, which is fine because the Arabic course is not overloaded. <laughs> the Arabic course in Duolingo is not load where. <clears throat> So, I'm perfectly fine with doing it. So, let's see about raiding somebody. Do we have enough people around for a raid? Yeah, we do have enough people around for a raid. Let's go raid somebody who's doing language stuff right now.、Uh, there's a French person doing Japanese. There is somebody doing Spanish, French, and Swedish. Okay, you know what? Okay, I know, I know the person who's. Speaks French and doing Japanese. Let me just check out. I'm gonna check this one, one out quickly.、Um, there is somebody doing Spanish. <clears throat> I know Spanish is the other language that's really popular on Twitch. And there's somebody doing French and Swedish. <clears throat> I mean, I plan on learning Swedish sometime after I learn Norwegian and Danish. So. Let's just pause that. And let's just see if I can. Oh, it's so bad. I can't switch their. I can't switch their、uh, stream to、uh, lower quality. Oh, oof. <coughs> let's see. So, somebody is doing Spanish. What's this? <sighs> somebody. Okay, teach Spanish online. All classes will be definitely will use just for sounds and images to help you understand and learn. Limited amount of English will be used as a last resort. Okay, will you chat in English at least? <coughs> Let's just, I'm just gonna listen in on this. Mike, have you been by this one? The one that is like somebody teaching Spanish? <clears throat> it looks like he's like teaching somebody on stream. Like, not,、uh, it's kind of like you checked it out briefly. They were way at the start, and the instructor was very slow. What? what? <laughs> was very slow and clear. They sound okay. <coughs> There's also somebody learning Swedish and French. We can check that out. Let me just hear. I won't be able to lurk because I can't reduce the quality of their streams.
Eh, you know what? We're gonna go with the person who started later. <laughs> okay, so um, first I will actually give a. Sh I will do a quick shout out for uh, Aramil. Um, Aramil, who is uh, currently doing some Japanese. He's a French speaker learning Japanese. You can check him out. People can go check him out if they want. Um, and say bonjour, comment ça va in French. But we are going to raid uh, this new person, I guess, who is learning French and Swedish. I think he's learning French right now. <coughs> he. I'm saying he. Yeah. And I will say thanks for dropping in, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be streaming Taekwondo Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. Central European time. GMT plus one, and that will be also for another hour and a half. <laughs> so, say Ninja Bot Raid. When we raid, I like to say Ninja Bot Raid, and this person is learning French, so you can say Bonjour, comment ça va? Which is Bonjour, comment? Spelt like that in French. Alright, and scene on right now. Thanks for being here, everyone. Hope to see you again.